Well, welcome to another edition of Jay's ModCraft Explorations. This is from Minecraft Java Edition 1.16.5. And as you can tell, <laughs> we actually got sunshine now with shaders and ambient noise. So those are two of the mods that I put on here, as well as a few other mods. Uh, I put in more animals and some... Uh, extra biomes and stuff. Most of these were from Quark, except for the animal mods. I don't know if I can pull that up in here. I may post them in the description, though, of the mods that I'm using in this episode. Okay. Well, let's get started. Now, answering some questions. I only got one question from when the time this was filmed. And one of you had mentioned to use the hay bales for food. And you know what? That completely blew my mind. I didn't think about using these for uh, food here. Yes, I'm going to steal your hay bale. Actually, you're not even the right guy. But I'm not going to use the hay bale because I want to make the make the game more harder. <laughs> it is, but so we're going to build our house back up on this. Um, but we're going to just use the little farm here that we're making. Which let's check that out now. Oh, that wasn't ready yet. Not used to having shaders. Actually, I call it also, um... What are they usually... What's that other one that Bedrock has? Uh, ray tracking. So I call this my version of ray tracking. I have a friend that always counterdicts me on that. And I'm like, well, you know, not all of us have you know, access to a high-end graphics card, so this is as best as we can get. Oh, what's that? Raw eel meat. Eel. Uh, eel. <laughs> Raw eel meat. Oh man, we're getting, we're getting some food in here now. Well, alright, let's see here. Maybe we'll have to take the hay bales. We can always put them back, huh? I'm going to make a better farm eventually. Don't worry, buddy. See, I put, I plant your food back, too. Make sure I got every spot here full. Alright, so what we need to do is today I want to start working on like a makeshift enchanting room. Let's see if we can commandeer one of these houses or just make one out of dirt real quick. Well first we need to get some cows, huh? Let's see if we got any wheat around here. I may have to actually break a hay bale, huh? I may have to. So we'll also go exploring some different biomes and stuff, but I want to forewarn you guys and gals that this game now is on hard mode. I think it is. But there's going to be more obstacles in the game than we're normally used to. So we're going to work on our enchanting room, but first we've got to start getting ourselves... I think that's ready, huh? What about this one? Ready? No? Sorry, I had to check. Okay, we were looking for cows. Now, creepers in this game now are extra dangerous. So, I have uh, mob griefing turned off. Because I want to build. But, creepers are something you want to avoid right now anyways. What I'm going to do is lure these cows back over to the village real quick. You know, I bet you never thought you'd hear a morning dove in Minecraft, huh? We'll see more biomes in the future. What I want to do is start getting some stuff here prepared. Also, I want to make a lectern, too, so we can start getting some of these villagers' trades redone. 
I'm going to drag them way over here. So the first game day, I'm just going to prepare things. Oh, Nick, a horsey. Oh, we got also got to be care of some other mobs, too. Um, these are friendly mobs, but there are some that are pretty hostile. And they will get you. I don't think I have my 3D doors on. Maybe we'll turn that on in the next episode. Yeah, they're not on. Maybe I should just turn them on real quick, huh? No? Well, we're going to turn them on anyways. There we go. The parrots and the bats. Alright, we already got that bread, so we're done there. And... Let's see here. I tell you what we're going to do. Let's um we need to start getting ourselves a safe place to stay. So, you know, here we go again. What do you do? We'll build another dirt house for right now, huh? No, well, we are anyways. I have to ruin your path, sorry villagers. I have to make a poor man shack real quick. I really don't want them in my house. So there's a couple things I've always learned and stuff on this Minecraft stuff, you know. A lot of people do help me out, especially when I forget things. Um, makes it easier. Put those there. At least the uh, furnace is protected from the rain. Maybe I should have some fried eel tonight, huh? Alright. So... I'm going to worry about getting some cow's bread. I don't think there's a library in here that I can snag some books from. Let's see if we got one in here. I doubt this is one. Oh, that's the uh, armor guy. We got a horse in here. A lone horse inside of a pin. Don't worry, we'll upgrade you soon. Come here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Alrighty. What's in there? Should get some torches and start lighting this area up. I'm just kind of scouting around. So the game may end up jerking or lagging. Because it's, uh... Loading up a bunch of new stuff. There's a spruce. Yeah, there's like maple trees and yucca trees and whatever else trees are in here. I mean, I got the game pretty packed now. Still got to find ourselves a beehive <laughs> and simple stuff like that. Well, let's get back to the house or the mud shack. Gonna kind of work around that area. Let's just use up our wheat now. Hey, come over here. I should just drag all these back to my base, huh? There we go. I'm gonna get to level five now. So yeah, I, I was really surprised though. Wow, these, calf, these calves want to come with me, I guess. But I'm really surprised that this one got a lot of views. I think a lot more of you guys and girls prefer to want to watch these modded versions of Minecraft. 
but they're going to follow the same structure, you know. I'm not going to change anything and do you whooping and hollering and cussing. Although maybe I've been th I've been thinking about cussing in these just to add more commentary, but I'm sorry, calves, but you're on your own. Yes. I got to get to a bed and I'm starting to slow down quick. I'm in dial-up mode. I've been balling chained again. Alright, second game day. We got some seeds to plant. Make sure there's nothing on it that's going to go boom. I hear a, a zombie. Yeah, this just feels more realistic to me. It has a different vibe than vanilla. I have a friend that says he doesn't like modded, he'd rather play vanilla. And, you know, I used to be the same way. But then after a while, it's like the gameplay gets to be the same. You do the same old stuff. You're waiting for updates. It's like, I want to try some different type of adventures and stuff. So, you know, I don't want to just do the same old stuff over and over and over again. Yeah, if you're run, trying to run this and running all these mods, I recommend to have a lot of RAM on your machine and a decent graphics card. This is running on a 970. I still have not got my hands on a 3080 yet. And my machine can... Hardware and power supply-wise, it can handle it. It's just... You can't grab a hold of this stuff right now because it's kind of... Uh, Rare. Rare in, in terms of you really can't uh, buy a graphics card. I'm going to keep the carrots right now. Well, at least one thing though, we got a farm. <laughs> You know, I'm getting a farm, I'm working on trees right now, and I don't know what we're going to call it today. I'd like to get a, maybe we'll make a cow pen, since that's what we're focused on today is the cows and stuff. So let's focus on the cow pen first, and then we'll worry about some other stuff later. Kind of makes you want to go camping playing in Minecraft. That's why I like playing it, because you're outside battling the elements. And not just, you know, sitting somewhere. So we're going to go ahead and make some fencing. Oh. Well, you know what we can do? we got plenty of goods. I don't want to waste my what I call my valuable stuff. So I bet you can... No, you cannot make a stone fence. I need to make some sticks first. And that's enough to make two sets of fences. Man, I've already burned up through all my wood already. I've been thinking about doing the bedrock edition, but I don't know yet. We're going to put the cow pen on this height here. In fact, let's put the cow pen right by this tree here. Why not? I should have put the house over here. I may do that. And we'll put the cow pen right here. We'll start right here. Not much of a cow pen yet. That won't protect us. <laughs> Alright. I'll cut down another tree here. I don't have an axe yet. I said I was not going to be using stone tools, and what am I using stone tools? I don't want to build a bunch of diamond tools, and then without mending it gets to be kind of a challenging wasting items. I guess I can make a loaf of bread and eat it, huh? we haven't gotten that farm done yet. Oh, and by the way, yeah, it sounds like I'm a little more awake. I've only had about five hours of sleep, but I did, 
I am filming these in the daytime. So no more of those night, late night things anymore. And I noticed I've been sounding kind of drowsy in them, and I thought, well, we don't need to be having that. Some people want a lively host. <laughs> well, it depends how much work I've had. I'm still getting bogged down with stuff, and that's pretty much how it goes, you know. I've been bogged down with, uh, you know, still dealing with taxes, paperwork, you know, doing this stuff mostly from home, online, web business and stuff. I still get paper. We're going to do an interior of three, so we're going to do an interior of nine by nine. So it'd be 81 spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then the fence here, and then the corner. It's a big pin. Put that there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, there, and there, and there. Okay. Then I can just join these corners up. Yeah, I may put that house back up in here. Over there is kind of cramped, but over here would be perfect. Just build a mansion right there. Be something different, huh? All right, well, the cow pen's getting there. We also got a feeding trough and all that stuff, too. Sorry, but I need that. I think that's beetroot. It is. Well, we got beetroot stuff. You gotta be careful because he'll start replacing stuff with just wheat, and I don't want wheat. So today is the cow pen. When we get done, we'll take a selfie with the cow pen. I mean, yeah, I could put that house back up over here, too. Eh, maybe a, maybe enough room. I keep forgetting there's houses up there. All right, let's plant this over here and this here. Oh, great, I'm getting sticks. Cool, I can make more tools that are pointless. <laughs> All right, so anything here ready to go? Nothing yet. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Um. Do I have anything around here that I can cut down now? Should just make a shovel real quick. Yeah, but there's a lot more food types and stuff in here too. I don't think there was corn or anything like that. But we will see if we can find anything new. Let me go plant these seeds. So today's going to be rather a tight day. I'm going to try to work on the cow pen, but there we go. Plant those seeds right in there. Look, we're getting a farm now. <laughs> yeah, it's not much, but we're getting there. We're getting somewhere today. We can't do any exploring until we get armor and stuff, so... For the first couple of episodes, we're going to be stuck around the house. We've got to get a good, decent farm going. I may have taken that area and just making it a farm. So I need to put a roof and a door on my house. I should just deck you. <laughs> yeah, we'll level this out, too. This is kind of a rough terrain here. These villagers, they just make everything so uneven. I just like to walk from point A to point B without having to jump. I think that might be ready too. I should steal his compost bin. Okay, we have, let's take that oak tree down there. It's kind of puny and in the way. Man, we're getting seeds left and right.
You still need to make a gate. May end up putting a sally port on that so our animals just don't escape. I've been talking about um, protecting the villagers by keeping them fenced in. It wasn't one of my villagers that got killed. need to make a gate obviously and I may just do that now since I have the materials to do it is it night time yeah, I hear a zombie villager I think they're in that one cave that I sealed up Let's go hit the sack. Okay, rise and shine. Good morning, everyone. It's the third game day. Let's see here. We'll pull that out while we're here. Villager's going to be pretty angry because I've been stealing all his food. I don't know if those are done. You really can't tell sometimes. And then we're going to put our gate around here somewhere. How about if we put it here? It's right in the center. Oh, you better get out of here, dude, because you won't be able to get out. I'm only short by, what, two fences? Oh, we got more here. Then we'll get our cows in here. What we'll do is we'll make some stairs. We'll just put two in there and we'll be done. Yeah, you can hear them under here. I bet there's a, I bet there's a bunch of tunnels under here. Those things do get loud after a while. So we're going to have to take care of that. Okay. Yeah, I may end up making that over there all my house. That means we'll eventually relocate the cows, but... Yeah, this ambient sounds mod is pretty cool. Well, sometimes it's a little buggy, but... Well, hey, it's free, and it works to what I need it for. That's why they call me uh, TDM, the Dirt Master. I'm going to have to smooth out these pads soon. And we'll take that and fill it in here. So we'll get, the, we'll get the cows in there. We'll start mass breeding those. We'll just add a bunch of trees in here too. Let's see if we can get big giant oak trees. I think there's a trick for it. I couldn't remember. I can't remember what it is. I just don't have any leather to make lecterns right now. So, yep, I mean, no trees. There's one over there I can pull. You notice every time I come over here, I always pull a strip of dirt. What I'm trying to do is smooth this out. I may end up putting a mass farm over here instead. build this area for the farm right now. Still not quite on this edge here. Okay. 
still want to have one extra around it. And then we'll build this thing down here. Yeah, I have enough for two loaves of bread. Yeah, we're going to have to see why there's a tunnel under here. Even that, uh... See, that villager removes something. Let's see, I don't think that's ready yet. I don't have any bone meal, but I have seeds. I don't have any trees. I'd like to get the cow pen done. Let's go ahead and pull it. I found out this is like spruce or something like that, but these will actually drop that sapling for that tree. It's a good alternative, too. Yeah, I found my templates for my Minecraft skin, so I gotta edit. I started working on it, I think, a couple of months ago and just kinda stopped on it. And I'm starting to work on my new uh, new skin and stuff. This is one with the Pikachu. <laughs> I need to pull it. Wait a minute, those are done. I think. Oh, it wasn't done. I may have to start stealing his carrots and stuff and his beetroot and put it over here. So I can keep track of it. Let's go ahead. We're going to need to make probably... Well, we're going to need to make more fences, obviously. Let's just do the whole thing, huh? Okay. And let's go ahead and... That's kind of sloppy. <laughs> let's go ahead and make this right here. He may have made too much, but I can always throw them in the furnace and burn them if I need to. And we're going to fix this village up, too. You know what? I'm not going to risk it. I'm taking that beetroot seed with me. Alright. Now i got to go get the cows in here. Okay, and I had three fences. I, didn't, I made a little too much. What I normally will do is take two things of dirt... And since there's villagers, I'm going to put them right here. And the cows will just hop over here, but they won't get back out. And then I'll put a sally port or something in here so they can't escape if you open up the gate. So always one gate will be open. And the other one will be closed. You're never going to have two open gates. All right. Well, there's our mine chest. So we haven't done any mining today, really. I mean, haven't done anything. Trying to find the cows that I had. I wonder where they went. I dragged them out here. The hard part about this is starting the game first, you know. <laughs> it's getting a source of food, you gotta start preparing for enchanting enchanting and stuff like that. And it's like, yeah, the work never ends. There's another hole that I need to fill in, because I bet I'll fall in there. But that's another one of those deep holes. No. Like a creeper hole, maybe. You can put those chickens in there, too. And this time I didn't call them ducks. Let's go find our cows. Well, you know what? It's almost dark time. And there's one, but I need more than just one cow. Sometimes these things walk so slow. You know? Like, come on, hurry up. I want to get on the, with the game here. I may leave this big tree in here. OK. 
Okay, well, I don't... You can't get out, huh? I made it where you can't. Is that another cow up there? No, oh, it's a pillager. I saw something moving. I first thought that was a cow up there. Oh, there it is. Let's go ahead and grab them all while we're here. Probably those two calves that we dragged out here. They grew up. Have no, they have no idea what's coming to them. You really can't see anything with this tall grass. Because creepers love hiding in this stuff, too. Two are married. No, you don't get these seeds. They're for me. I'll take a hike. Oh, I guess the villager or somebody planted that back in there. I believe that this is the fourth game day. I don't remember. <laughs> I'll say it is. And we're back at filling this in with more stuff. So let's fill this in. So basically now I'm just going to be farming stuff. And once stuff is done, I'm going to start dividing this stuff up into more parcels of land. But this right now is just going to be a farm. This is not going to be any specifics. I like to make that my carrot farm, but we'll see. All right. Let's plant those beetroot seeds in here too. Huh? Get those out of the way. Okay, so let's see here. Let's go ahead and take ourselves a selfie by the, by the cow pen. And that villager is in there. No, he's not. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pull these out of here now. So that villager does not go in there. That's what we don't want that because they won't, he won't get out. And you know, the zombies can get in there real quick and just attack him. Oh, yeah. Can't have that. I'm going to raise this path up eventually. So pull that out, put that there. And let's go and do ourselves a selfie by the cow pen. Okay, get this out of the way here. So, okay, we're gonna do a selfie by the cow pen. So here we go. Okay. <laughs> Oops, wrong button. I gotta have it. I think that's first player. So that's my thumbnail. Cow pen has been achieved. So today, that's what I did. I achieved the cow pen. I'm still working on the farm, but I got a cow pen going. Alright, so we'll put this here. Yeah, we're going to make this whole area here farmland. So we're going to take our dirt. And we're slowly going to build this up here. Okay. There we go. Alright. Now we got ourselves a thing. We got some food kind of growing here. We got our cows. I'm just going to use the wheat strictly to breed them. I know I should be using it for myself. I don't think those potatoes are done. I know there's a thing called a feeding trough, so we got to figure out how to use that. Oh. Oh, we don't want you escaping. I just wasted a piece on something. I think I have to wait 10 minutes or so. 
to start taking this tall grass out of here. And of course I could do chicken, a chicken coop too, but I don't think those are ready. We're going to wait. I, if you can't tell, just leave it. That's what I've been doing. Just So today the goal was the cow pan. Because bef oh. before I can go exploring, I need to get a good source of food. I may work on pigs next. Get a pig pen. But I'm going to build the rest of them. That'll be my tenth cow pen right now. back this up a little bit here to kind of give it a more of a contour. And we'll go our way back. I gotta use a shovel though. I think you hear a woodpecker. <laughs> I don't know if those are in the game or not. Sounds like a woodpecker. All right. Now obviously that's ready. That one's ready. All right. Not sure if that's done yet. Always get some bone meal to test it too. All right, let's go ahead and feather this down a bit more, just to make it visually appealing too. Nobody wants to look at boring old dirt. You know, I'm the dirt master. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to look at it. There we go. So now I got this all fixed up here. I'm going to take some more of this here and just start filling in this area right around the house. Well, let's actually go back over here. We're going to try to work in this area over here by the, by the cow pen. You can see I'm pretty much leveled off the ground out here to this point. I bet he drops on this and this gets flattened down. Well, put your bin there. Here, you can have it back. Oh, I don't have any dirt to put in there. I'll take the sand, though. I still gotta make windows in my little house. Put that there. That's not centered, but let me drop off my seeds. So yeah, we didn't do any mining today. It's just basically, you know, farm, 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 farm. I do need some armor though. So I guess we could start growing bigger trees. Kind of shade off our village. The only problem though is, is the mobs just hang out around there. I don't know what I'm thinking about doing. I mean, I think mob griefing is on because this guy actually was doing his fields. I think. Is it all sand down there? Yeah. Why would you put sand and put dirt on top of that, Mr. Farmer? Mm. We'll make this in here his wheat farm. Let's 
Let's see if we can breed more cows. I'm not going to kill anything just yet until I get the cow pen pretty full. There we go. I may have to make a shovel and we'll continue on this path. You know what? Let's fill in this deep hole here. I know I see iron down there, but I really don't want to fall in that. So I'm going to slowly cover that up. That's That won't be a good place to fall in. Lot of seeds. There should be no excuse now for going hungry, except for lack of farm. I don't think any of these are done. I think this might be done. No, it wasn't done. All right. I don't think it's bedtime yet. So pretty much, like I said, this is the second episode so far of this of this theme, and as you can see, it's pretty much a rough, slow day. All right, now let's go to bed. All right, this is the. Third game day. Or not third game day. This is the final game day. What am I saying here? That's why I'm losing count. I can't even remember what I did. <laughs> Alright. Take the seeds. And... Yeah. And I am going to be ticking soon. So now I am forced to make food can't breed cows right now, so we'll just make some food. Oh, I gotta be careful too. Raids can happen. We gotta protect these guys. I may end up making fences around their homes. What I did in another server is I dragged villagers underground and I buried them like put them in their own little workstation give them a nice place to sleep and kind of hid them so they won't get attacked by you know the zombies or you know whatever else wants to kill them <laughs> you know, so I hide them I may have to do that here Let's make this whole village like completely whatchamacallit proof. Maybe build my house and move the whole village underground. Okay, we've got two pieces of wheat. Alright, not too much. Okay, um, we've got plenty of trees now. We need to start scouting out though. So, I'm thinking in the next episode we're going to probably do just that. We're not going to go too far. I need to make a sword. Or a wood axe. We're going to start picking up eggs. You know what, I guess... Uh, how many diamonds were in your house? Two? Uh, it's enough to make a diamond hoe or a sword. And a sword would be more valuable right now. Actually, you need you need a uh, you need armor. I could do is drag this horse pin. That horse pin's kind of 
<laughs> kind of pathetic. Let's go back over here. Let's just hope I don't get lost. See if we can find ourselves a maple forest or something. Well, here's the sheets. Okay, what I'm going to do... Let's drag a couple of these sheep back with us. Oh, there's that yellow one, too. And that blue one. Well, let's just drag all these back here with us, huh? What happened to the white one? I've got three nice colored ones. Come on, you're going to come back, too means we'll have to build a sheet farm next, but the sheets I just use for wool. I don't really use them for cooking or anything. Alright, somebody's being stubborn. And I don't put the sheet with the cows. I see a cow right up there. Well, Mr. Cow, we're not going to get you. Yeah, this is very slow and tedious. You know, I could put those sheep inside that horse pin, huh? Maybe that horse will get nasty and kick them. I got a better idea. I think we will. We'll probably save that for the next episode. The sheep pen, since we got to do everything else. I want to move those cows over somewhere else, though. Hey, okay, where's that tiny little horse pen? The one that you couldn't even fit a little small rat in. They got, they got that poor horse and that little pin in this nasty part of the mountainside. Tells me he's probably been a very bad horse. That must probably, that's probably the punishment pin. can't make green with these. I've tried. Um, okay. I'm going to make you get one and you get one. You're chosen. Now I got light blue, I believe. I don't think you can do that in Bedrock, but in Java you can mix colors. Okay. So that's a pretty pathetic pin, but we'll keep that. And what we'll do is we'll make some big, massive farm with animals. There's tons of animals in this game, so... This is where our farm's going to start, right here. This is my first plot of land for the farm. I think I fixed all that up. See how it's nice and green in here now? It looks really good. Nice and smooth. Nothing to pick, of course. Oh, I got carrots. Never mind. But I'm going to plant those carrots in here. Okay. I'm debating now if I should start working on trapping one of the villagers in their house. Where they can't get out, but they're safe. And there is a way to do it, too. Let me put this carrot. Let me put this stuff in here. So what I do is I'll make a gate. Hold on, I'm trying to remember how to make a gate. And what I usually try to do is 
you got to get one of these villagers in the house. Like, what do you do here? This bed's too close. I'm going to break the bed. Turn it this way here. These villager houses are not really that, uh... They're not really that big. And you do is you get the villager in here. Like, put the gate in here like this. Now, he can't get out this way. You just set it in there. He can't reach this door. So what I'm going to do real quick, I'm going to move this guy's compost bin in here. And leave the gate open. He'll still go through that gate. He won't close that gate. He'll go through it. And when he goes in there, I close the gate and lock him in there. I mean, it's not my fault he doesn't know how to open up that gate. You know? Sorry, pig, but I don't have enough for you right now. What I'm going to do is this is going to be my carrot farm here. And... Now I have extra wheat seeds, so what do I do with those? We'll start another plot of land. I like to go three, and then add another land. I guess we could start that one real quick. We probably won't have it fully done, but we'll start it. Okay. So we start right here. Okay. One, two, three, four, and then turn. One, two, three, four. That's where the water's going to go there. And then we're going to start. This one's going to be our wheat farm. More eel meat? I hope there's nothing that's going to kill me if I go in there. Maybe those fish are killing the eels. Oh, there's a shark in here. Oh, yes, there, there's also sharks in here, too. <laughs> so, oh, well, we're going to have to be careful where we go. So now uh, I got a carrot. So basically skip one, two, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That'll be our dedicated wheat farm. But that's it everyone. I guess that's the end of the episode. So let's make sure our villager got in this house. Obviously the door's closed and it's raining. See? He's sleeping. Let's close him in there. That's it. That's his new workstation. So good night everyone, take care. If you like these, please let me know in the comments. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so.